In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to this new week. Today is Sunday, the 4th of July, 2021. It is the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Rev. Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. In those days, the Spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet, and I heard him speaking to me, and he said to me, Son of man, I send you to the sons of Israel, to a nation of rebels, who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day. The people also are impudent and stubborn. I send you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. And whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, they will know that there has been a prophet among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, taken from Psalm 123. The response to the psalm is, Our eyes look to the Lord till he show us his mercy. The second reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. Brethren, to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it should leave. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities, for when I am weak, 
then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to preach good news to the poor. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Jesus came to his own country, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get all this? What is the wisdom given to him? What mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could do no mighty work there, except that he laid his hands upon a few sick people, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went about among the villages teaching. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is The greatness of God's prophet or messenger depends on God himself. The greatness of God's prophet or messenger depends on God himself. Dearly beloved of God, on this 14th Sunday of the year, through the readings of the liturgy, the church invites us to reflect, to meditate on, and contemplate the greatness of the person and role of God's prophets and messengers. These prophets and messengers represent God and act on behalf of God. They are God among us. To see them is to see God. Therefore, they are great. In today's gospel, Jesus says they have honor. The respect and honor that we give to them, we give to God. And we give them this honor and respect, not because of who they are, in and by themselves, but because of who they represent. In seeing them, we see God. Their presence among us is God's presence among us. God works for us through them. They are mediators and intermediaries between God and the people. The priest, for example, is an alter Christus, that is, another Christ. God's prophets are great, not because of who they are in themselves, but because of whom they represent. On their own and by themselves, they are nobodies. But God's choice has made them great. Because they represent God, they have such honor. They were nothing before God called them. His choice has made them something. Therefore, writing to the Christians in Corinth, St. Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 26, says, Consider the time of your calling. How many of you were influential? How many of you were great or had wisdom in the real sense of the word? So you see, you were nothing, but God's call has made you something. God works great marvels for us through his prophets. The first reading of today portrays the greatness of the prophet Ezekiel. Whether they listen or not, this tribe of rebels will know there is a prophet among them. Confer Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 5. Yes, a great prophet they will know. This greatness of Ezekiel is on account of the fact that he was called and sent by God 
and the Holy Spirit was with him. Through, with, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Ezekiel was a great prophet, not by his own making, but by the making of God. He called, therefore, for humility. In the gospel, Jesus performs great signs among the people. He exhibited such great wisdom that they marveled. He did all this because, again, the Holy Spirit was with him and because he was humble. Confess Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. If God would do great things through his prophet, he needs the prophet to make himself humble and nothing for God to fill him. He must remind himself it is God working through him. For this reason, the psalm of today says, Our eyes look up to you because all help comes from you. This is what St. Paul explains in the second reading. Talking about himself, he says, I should not get above myself. That is, he should not be proud. He should not be too elated. In order that he may not be proud, he always had temptations that made him see how limited he was as a human person. Knowing all he did and was able to do came not from him, but from God. God reminded him never to give up assuring him of his grace that was enough and sufficient for him. So St. Paul boasts of his weaknesses. That is his limitations because they make him see his need for the power of God working in him. As he concludes, for it is when I am weak that I am strong. This means when he sees how limited he is, then he sees that he becomes strong because of the power of God working in him. The worst thing a person could think of is that he is independent of God. Dear prophets of God, it is a reminder that our greatness and the honor we have are not by our making. Sometimes some of us feel or make ourselves appear superhuman. <laughs> no wonder some of us even walk with the illusion that we will never die. Oh, come on. We are mortal. We are human. And that explains why when some prophets or men of God die, their followers continue to live in the illusion that they have not died. We are not God. We are human. Some of us make ourselves gods and pull all focus on ourselves than on directing the Christians to God. Let us remember, all we do and can do is by God's grace. And the honor we have is not by our making. Who were we before God called us? It is the honor that God has bestowed on us because we are his servants. It is for this reason God allows certain calamity before us to reduce our pride, to humble us, so that we see how limited we are and dependent on him. Our greatness and the honor we have in society should not get into our heads to make us feel we have become God himself. God is using us for his glory and for the sanctification of his people and for our own sanctification. Let us not forget, we are leading the people to heaven and leading our own selves to heaven. Remember, the greatest men in scripture, just when they thought they had it all and were the world's greatest, they were brought down by the simplest and commonest of things. Remember Samson, great Samson. He was brought down just by a little girl, Delilah. Therefore, we are not God. We are human. And let us be reminded of our weaknesses and of our humanity so that we know that the power working in us is not our own, but God's own. Same with you, beloved. Whoever you are and whatever you are and whatever you have, remember, it is thanks to God. God has made you so. So do not think you can live or can be independent of God. On your part, dear people of God, you may also miss out on the glory of God if you let yourself be misled by the familiarity and closeness to God's messenger, such that you fail to see the greatness or you downplay it. In today's gospel, we are told, Jesus, though in his own country, among his own people, he did not work great signs and wonders because of their unbelief. They saw him and were too familiar with him. They rather looked at their social links and relationships and forgot about the spiritual representation that he had. The same may be true with many of us. That we associate with the priests, we associate with the prophets of God, 
looking at our social ties and forget about the spiritual representation that they have. Do not forget, they may be your brothers, your friends, your sons, your uncles. Do not lose sight of the fact that they represent God. Let that spirituality not be carried away by our social relationship with them. Let us always remember, yes, every prophet is great and has honor because God has made him so, not because of himself. And for you, dear people of God, give them the respect and honor that is their due because in doing so, you do it to God. But also, dear prophets of God, let us not compel the people to respect us despite our own faults and weaknesses just because they know in doing so, they do it to God. Let us also carry ourselves with a lot of respect and honor so that the honor that we live in will be reciprocated. Amen. Catholic meditation with me, Father Blessed. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.